Hi everyone, Marine here. Thanks for stopping by. I'm back with a new shaker card, super cute and sweet, showcasing the new Paris afternoon. I picked the word bonjour from Charming City, the sitting bear and fox from Critters on the Go. From Farm Fresh, I picked the pile of hay and the crows that I turned into pigeons. The words so happy we're from Fall Friends. I used the roof die from the Sweet Treat House add-on. The Chloe alphabet die set to make the word friends. And finally, a paper from the Spring Sunburst paper pack. And another one from the Dots and Stripes Pastels paper pack. And just like the card I shared last week, I started by stamping and die cutting the images to help me build the background. I cut a five and a half by four and a quarter inches light blue panel. I placed a rectangle die from my stash and then the images on top. And doing this is helping me figure out how large the pavement is going to be. So to make this pavement section, I added a strip of washi tape at the very bottom of the panel. And I created a brick texture on the rest of the paper using tumble glass distress ink and a brick stencil from my stash. So the top of the panel is done, I carefully removed the washi tape and then I applied a little bit of hickory smoke distress ink on the bottom edge just to bring some texture and contrast but nothing more. Next I placed the rectangle die again on the panel, I taped it and sent everything to my die cutting machine to cut a window out of this brick panel. And to finish this window nicely, I created a frame. I used the same rectangle die as before and a second one slightly bigger. I taped both dies on a piece of white cardstock and I cut a frame. I applied liquid glue on the brick panel all around the opening and I attached the white frame. Next, for the shaker window, I didn't want it to steal the show, but I wanted it to be seen anyway, so instead of using clear acetate, I used vellum. I cut a 5.5 by 4.25 inches panel and placed it in my misty tool with the brick panel on top. I also placed my stamped images and on the left side of the parasol, I placed the croissant stamp and the word bonjour right below. I removed everything but the vellum panel. I prepped the panel using my anti-static powder bag and then I used Lanfon clear embossing ink to stamp the croissant and the word bonjour. I stamped them three times to get a nice impression and then I sprinkled some fine Hero Arts white embossing powder on the ink. I melted the powder using my heat tool and then I started to assemble everything to build the front of my bakery. I added double sided tape at the back of my brick panel and I attached it on the vellum panel. And this way it looks like the croissant and the word bonjour have been painted on the bakery's window. Next I created a simple awning. I picked a pattern paper and the roof die from the Sweet Treat House add-on. To get a long piece, I cut the left side first, making sure to place the right side of the die outside the cutting plates of the machine. And then I placed the die on the right side, and this time I made sure to place the left side of the die outside the cutting plates of the machine. And here is my awning. Next, I finished assembling the different background elements. I cut a light blue card base and I stuck a piece of rainbow polka dot paper on top. 
I also added foam tape at the back of the brick panel all around the opening and before adding the accessories I applied a generous amount of powder inside the vellum window all along the foam tape. This way the shaker accessories won't stick to the foam. I quickly cleaned the vellum using a microfiber cloth and then I added this sweet sprinkles mix from Spellbinders on the vellum window. I shook the panel to spread those accessories. I removed the backing papers and then I attached my card base on the foam to finally complete my shaker background. And here you can see the colorful shaker accessories, but thanks to the vellum window, they won't steal the images thunder. And the last step before moving on to the coloring, I attached the awning. I used strong double-sided tape at the top and foam tape along the scalloped edges to bring dimension. I quickly trimmed the top and then I gathered all the images and colored everything using my alcohol markers. And once the images are done, I will attach everything using foam squares and liquid glue.
So now that everything is attached, I added my sentiment on the awning. I cut the word friends twice, out of yellow cardstock and out of white cardstock. I attached the white letters behind the yellow letters to create an outline. And then I stuck those letters on the pink awning. And I also white hit embossed the words so happy we're on black cardstock. I trimmed it into a slim banner that I will attach below the word friends. I finished my card by adding highlights and details to the images using a white gel pen. And that's it. That's a cute Parisian scene we have here with coffee, croissant and baguette. And of course, some pigeons ready to steal a few crumbs. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Have a very nice day. Bye.